I love collecting seashells. It's almost a kind of meditation for me. So even if I have quite many of them, I can't help collecting these small natural wonders when I'm by the sea. But if you don't live near the sea, I want to show you that you can make garlands and wind chimes with just shells from the supermarket. They are of course just as beautiful and knowing that it's your dinner leftovers just makes it all a little more funny. So transform your trash into a little free summer decoration. I first had a nice meal out of them. Traditional French mussels with white wine sauce. After the meal I left them in a bucket in my garden with rainwater. Pack up my summer in a ziplock bag Old maps and tchotchkes, photographs of this and that All right, To clean them, I'm just using a leaf from the lawn Like that my sponge don't get dirty or smelly What if I don't hold on to this red string? I did quickly wash them to be sure that there was no bad smell left and I do it over a bucket so I can reuse the water for the flowers in my garden. And then I let them dry in the sun. use some driftwood to create the garland just finding the branch a little bit too long. Once you cut the branch it doesn't have these round edges anymore that you always find on driftwood but that's easy to get back with just a little bit of sandpaper it will have this natural soft look again. I'm doing the same thing to the little piece I just cut off because I'm probably gonna use it in another garland one day. I really find this garland so pretty and I also like that you can hang it in so many different spaces in your kitchen, your bathroom, on your balcony, in your hallway and it kind of looks like big blue raindrops The next DIY is going to be a wind chimes and I have these two handles which was actually from a summer bag which was completely worn out so I had to throw it out but I cut off the handles and I'm going to glue them together to create this kind of circle where I can attach my seashells. In case you should be curious, the lake you can see a little bit is the Geneva Lake and we live in France but the mountains you see in the background is actually Switzerland.
this little canvas that I once glued some sand on, um, but it didn't look very nice, so I tried to take it off again. There is still a little bit left, but uh, we're gonna use it now for this last little DIY. You can see the sand a little bit, but I actually like it, it just adds a little bit of texture. Now I'm using a special mirror glue for this one. Normally of course you will use regular hot glue, but instead of just letting this uh, glue dry out and then throw it out, um, I prefer to use it for this little DIY. 